Hi there, welcome to another in our Grand Meadows Fireside video series and today we're going to talk about the horse's stomach. And this is kind of a scary area these days because uh, gastric ulcers are you know, very, very frequent, uh, in, in, particularly amongst uh, race horses, but also even amongst uh, performance horses. You know, some people think somewhere in the region of 65 to 70 percent of uh, performance horses uh, are, are having problems with ulcers. And, you know, trying to understand why this is happening, I think it's pretty simple. You know, we have changed uh, the way that we keep our horses. You know, in the past, horses were able to range over a wide area. Uh, you know, they're designed to be eating uh, 20 out of 24 hours. Um, and with that scenario, there's a constant stream of feed materials going into the stomach, which are absorbing uh, the hydrochloric acid that is produced to start the digestive process along with pepsin uh, in the lower part of the stomach. If you look at the cutaway that I'm just going to put on the screen now, uh, you can see, so the esophagus uh, delivers the feed and uh, it goes into uh, the lower part of the stomach where, again, the hydrochloric acid and the pepsin, which is an enzyme, are produced to start the digestive process and the pH of the stomach starts to lower quite dramatically to a much more acidic environment. Um, now, the problem that we have is that if you don't have a, a, a consistent stream of, of feed coming into the stomach, uh, the hydrochloric acid is still being produced. And so the, the primary cause of, of gastric ulcers, as we understand them, is that this hydrochloric acid is splashing against uh, the non-glandular part of the stomach, that upper portion of, of the stomach. Um, now, there's any number of uh, supplements out there uh, claiming to be ulcer supplements. Um, personally, I, I'm not a huge believer in, in ulcer supplements for horses that have ulcers. Uh, really, there's just the one product, which is the GastroGuard, the Omeprazole, which is the only drug that's been approved for the actual treatment of ulcers. Um, now, we're going to touch on, uh, you know, possibly some, some effective ingredients that can be used to helpfully uh, help the body uh, reduce the risk of, of, of getting ulcers. Uh, when we sort of go through some of the different digestive ingredients after we've sort of gone through the actual digestive system. Um, but another thing that's kind of curious to me um, is that we're seeing horses on pasture uh, get ulcers and, and that really sort of conflicts with the general theory behind the fact that it's because of you know the, the horse not eating consistently and the idea of this hydrochloric acid pooling in the stomach and splashing on the squamous layer. Uh, why is that happening? Well we, we have a theory that this is as a result of leaky gut syndrome, that you have bacteria leaking out of the small intestine or out of the stomach itself, and that that somehow correlates with, with the formation of ulcers as well. Um, but, but bottom line, you know, to me, the best way to reduce the risk uh, is, is, is to try to make sure that your horse has free choice hay uh, so that he can eat uh, consistently and that hydrochloric acid can be absorbed uh, as it's designed to be um, in that beginning of the digestive process. Um, feed stays in the horse's stomach generally only 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, the horse actually has a relatively small stomach uh, compared to, say, ruminants. Um, but if everything's uh, working well, then that that pepsin, that hydrochloric acid, is breaking it down and then it's going into the small intestine where the real absorption of nutrients starts to occur. So we're going to cover the small intestine in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.